today I'm going to be going through five signs that you could be a witch. Now I just want to be clear that I don't think that you are either born a witch or you're not born a witch. You can definitely be inherently more inclined to pursue the path of witchcraft or to become pagan or you can definitely have something within you that makes you more inclined to follow these paths which is what I'm going to be addressing but I truly believe that every single person has the power within them and the ability to be a witch. So this video is just designed to show if witchcraft could be something that would enrich your life. So number one is you love nature. Now this is kind of a given, this is the big thing that people associate with witches um, quite rightly. So when you see trees, when you see a flower or you see the ocean or you feel a breeze, you don't just see it for what it is, you feel kind of a deeper connection like there's something more there. Um, whether that be a spiritual thing um, or not, that you just feel a pull towards nature. When you spend too much time away from nature, your quality of life declines, you maybe feel a bit sad when you're away from nature. I know that when I spent a long time at university there was no nature around. I was just in the middle of town and I was so depressed. Um, I'm quite prone to depression anyway but at that point it was just awful. So one of the biggest things that I looked for when I was trying to find my house is that it had views of nature and I can see trees when I look out my window now and my mindset has just, it, oh god, I can't even tell you how much it helps to be able to go out and within two seconds be in nature. So if that's something that resonates with you, then you might be a witch. So with your love of nature, you may also feel that the weather changes your moods. So if it's a beautiful sunny day, you automatically feel happier. Um, if it's a stormy, stormy day, you might feel that you want to go and run around. It's a time of heightened um, energy and heightened excitement. Um, maybe you feel that, you know, the, t the turning of the year, maybe you feel that very closely. So in springtime, you might kind of subconsciously focus on the things that you want to change, the things that you're renewing. And maybe in the winter, you, are, you kind of automatically, like, bed in, bed down and just kind of see it through. So if you really feel the turning of the year as, as something that is worth kind of exploring and noting then you may be a witch. So number two is that you have a deep connection with your senses. So when you smell something it immediately brings back lots of memories you can kind of if you smell for example um, some cedarwood essential oil you will be um, imagining yourself in the middle of a beautiful forest and it'll be very vivid and if you hear something equally um, you just it can kind of get a little bit overwhelming um, but you you have a very high sensory perception so a deep connection to the senses could be a sign that you are a witch. Number three is that you feel a deep sense of connection, not just to nature, but to the world as a whole. So it can be to animals, it can be to every other human, and the world as a whole, and the further universe. You feel a deep, deep sense that you are not alone, you're connected to everyone and everything, that spanning the entire universe and the entire ends of creation. You feel as though you have the power to maybe manipulate those things. So if you have this deep sense of connection and you connect to, when you look up at the night sky, you can connect to the moon and the stars and, and the sun, then you may be a witch. And number four is that you have a deep belief in yourself. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you are really um, outgoing and really um, self-confident, but I think the most important thing is to believe that you have an inherent power within yourself. So this is something that's quite deep down in your kind of consciousness um, and deep down within your soul. So you need to believe that you have the power to change things, that you have it within yourself, even if you've not harnessed it yet. You know, you know, and everyone has this power. Absolutely everybody. And it's a thing that you can definitely work on. It's very easy to self-deprecating and it's not easy to actually stand up and say look I have the power I'm strong and I can do this you do need to have this self-belief this intrinsic belief in your own ability and take it from me you have the power to make a change you have the power for your spells to work you just need to believe in it 
and if you do have that inherent belief that you've got something within you that maybe needs to come out, needs to shine, then you may be a witch. And finally, number five is probably the reason that you clicked on this video. So this is that you have a pull to witchcraft. If you want to practice witchcraft, you feel drawn to it, you've watched videos on it, maybe you love watching films that have magic in them. If you feel drawn to witchcraft, that is the biggest giveaway that you're probably a witch and that going down this path may help enrich your life and make it wonderful and magical and it's probably something that you should try. Now you may try it and realise that actually nah, it's not for me but honestly I think if you have this inherent need or pull within your heart to pursue witchcraft then that is just the biggest dead giveaway. You could really have none of the others but if you've got this one then you're probably a witch so get on with it. <laughs> so if you've listened to all these five reasons and you think god yeah okay I'm a witch what the hell do I do now? Do a bit of research get a bit of practice in um, I would go and spend a bit of time in nature and really kind of see take in all the senses and maybe whisper to the universe while you're out on like walking on your own be safe just do something it doesn't have to be a big showy ritual that you've you know bought a million different things for just do something today and it's a thing that takes time you're constantly learning so don't be overwhelmed you can just go for a walk maybe whisper a little prayer type thing if, if prayer is something you're familiar with then then go with that just whisper a little thing that you would like for your day even it doesn't have to be a massive life altering thing just do one little thing today that will start you on your witchcraft journey just to kind of get get a feel for it see if you like it and see if you want to pursue it further so I hope this video was useful and please do let me know in the comments below if you are a witch if you found it useful um, what you're going to do now and like share it subscribe all that fun stuff and I will speak to you very soon.